We're here at the Hong Kong International Wine and Spirits Fair, where 950 exhibitors from over 30 countries have come to show off their stuff, including the grape state of California. I am thrilled to be joined by Tom Pillsbury of the Mole Winery. Holy smokes, what brings you to Hong Kong? Really what got us on the map over here was two years ago, uh, the White House selected our uh, 2008 Russian River Chardonnay uh, to be served at the state dinner, uh, uh, hosting Hu Jintao, the president of China, and Obama uh, was hosting it. The media over here and around the world uh, got a hold of it and our phone started ringing like crazy and uh, so here we are. So here we are. This is my first time in Hong Kong, your second time in Hong Kong. Any words of wisdom for the, for the newbie here? It's chaos in a good way and the food is terrific. Uh, it's a very, um, it's a great, very open market economically. It's uh, one of the freest uh, economies in the world. There's no wine import duties. Uh, and there are, it is a very competitive market, uh, but it's an enthusiastic market. The consumers here uh, are wanting to learn a lot about wine, whether it's from California or other places. And so we're here in Hong Kong. Uh, I normally say cheers at the end of any video, but do they say gung bai? Gung bai? What is Gung bai. Gung bai. What does that mean? It means bottoms up and you're expected to finish your glass. Uh, uh oh, how about half the glass? There gung bai. Gung bai. Bottoms up. We are now giving you a taste of the wines of Germany. Germany is a really small wine country. We produce just 10 million hectoliter. Fortunately, in Hong Kong, we have a really good success in the last years with Riesling, which is our main grape variety. We have more than 21,000 hectare planted with Riesling. This is more than 60% of the world production. And you know, Riesling is such a versatile grape variety, which uh, is uh, such a good food partner. Uh, and people are crazy, meanwhile, worldwide um, for, cre for Riesling. Everybody loves Riesling. My mom loves Riesling. She okay. says, give me a Riesling any day of the week. Uh, but a lot of people think we Riesling, they think super sweet, but that's not what we're talking about here. No, no. For example, in uh, the class, we have here a Riesling Classic, which means it's it's a, a dry style Riesling. The Germans produce more uh, dry Riesling, uh, dry wines in general. 60% of our production, more than 60%, is in a dry style. But uh, in the United States, for example, in the exportation, the uh, sweeter styles dominate just because the market demands a sweeter style. You got that U.S. market, you got to go for the drier demands. I'm from California. What's the German uh, wine region like? Do you get a lot of tourists? Can people go visit yes. the wineries there? Yes, this is not just producing wine. They also accommodate uh, um, and welcome uh, guests to stay and they offer tasting. They have some restaurants uh, on site. They organize festivals to attract people from all over the world. Wine drinking must be fun. If you have a um, good uh, a company and, and uh, you are visiting the regions, know where the wine is growing, see the people behind, this is much more interesting for people. I always say wine's about people. It's a belly-to-belly -belly business. Yeah. Cheers. How do you say cheers in uh, German? Zum Wohl. Zum Wohl? Zum Wohl. Yes. Zum Wohl. <laughs> what does that mean? Um, uh, à votre santé, um, to your health. To all, to your hell. And I am thrilled to be joined by Hong Kong's very own Stephen Jarre. Portrait Winemakers and Distillers is Hong Kong's only premium distillery and winery. It's a, sort of on the edge of the biggest market of the world. China right now is a burgeoning market, and it's burgeoning in an area that's exciting. It's sort of the, the mid-tier. We have the advantage of, or let's say at a tax advantage, of selling our wines and certainly selling our spirits into China on a tax-free basis under the free trade agreement between Hong Kong and China. You've been here for about three years. What made you decide to make the move to Hong Kong in the first place? Entry into Hong Kong is very easy in terms of anything imported. And our fruit comes here, it's flown here or by ship. It's a very simple port to deal with. So fruit gets into the winery immediately. We can process it quickly and then under the free trade agreement we can process it into wine or spirits and then sell it into China. Did you ever think you'd be living here before years ago? <laughs> no I did not. I did not think I was going to be living here but it's a, I dig it. It's a great city. It's a city that breathes money and it breathes fashion and it breathes excitement and it's truly the Manhattan of, of in every sense of the word of Asia. Stephen, uh, huge accolades, Time Magazine, talk a little bit about that. Oh, it was lots of fun. They love the wine and they love the story. We had a great release with you guys last night at the winery commemorative 
commemorating Hong Kong, and we are Hong Kong's, I guess, uh, uh, leading edge producers. So Time Magazine went high five. This is a, a great fun. They drank way too much wine. Maybe that's why they printed the cover story. I don't know. So there's sort of a tradition. I like to close my stories with saying cheers, but we have a different tradition here. Uh, in Hong Kong, we do a gumbe. Is that a right? lovely tradition where, where it's a sign of friendship, and I know both hands for you, as it were. Okay. And, uh, and, it, and with that, it's always a toast to the toaster, the presenter. So I'd like to certainly welcome you to Hong Kong. I wish you great success with your program and uh, Portrait Winemakers and Distillers is always there for you and your great uh, viewers. And uh, come back. Come back. And we got to <laughs> pound it, right? All the way down. There we go. Now what? You are from China. <laughs> <laughs>